All right, I'll be uh, showing you how I'm charging my electric vehicle. And it's uh, charging in a very affordable, but also very clean way. Um, so normally you would just plug in your vehicle and it will start charging right away until it's uh, full. And so um, tonight actually it's, uh, it's actually much smarter to charge um, later during the night uh, because there's a lot of wind power going to uh, be available on the grid and the electricity grid will be cleaner and there's not a lot of electricity demand. So this means that fossil fuel um, electricity plants don't have to run at a high, uh, high rate. And so mostly this is going to be uh, clean electricity. Um, so normally when there's a lot of clean electricity and not a lot of demand, basically the clean electricity has to be turned off. And so uh, wind turbines going to be, are going to be uh, uh, basically uh, shut down. Or um, if it's, uh, for example, uh, during the summer, during the weekend, a lot of times uh, there's uh, solar electricity being uh, thrown away, basically. Well, this is uh, very wasteful and uh, we don't want that. So we want to uh, make use of these very cheap rates. And so I'll show you how my uh, charger is set up. So I've got a 22 kilowatt uh, Tesla charger um, at home. You can select uh, the country that you are in and then you can select the market that is applicable to you. So in my case, this is the Netherlands hourly day ahead market. I have a uh, electricity contract with newest home or uh, you can also get it from um, Energy Zero and um, it will give you these hourly rates, which means instead of dual tariff or single tariff, you will have 24 tariffs uh, during the day. And so these, uh, of course, uh, are the different depending on the supply and demand of electricity. So um, yeah, this is all set up. Um, I'll select uh, that I want to charge and uh, I want to charge, uh, for example, everything um, smart. So you can also select, I want to charge fast and then it will, uh, you can see here at the bottom, you see a little graph of when it's going to charge. Uh, it's going to make use of these very expensive rates. So this is the pure electricity price. Uh, so there's also a little bit of a transportation fee uh, from your uh, grid provider. And also there's a, there's a lot of tax on electricity, but this is the non-tax and non-transportation uh, part, just the pure electricity price. And so uh, Neostrom and Neostrom and uh, Energy Zero uh, charge this price uh, uh, exactly. And so what it allows you to do, you can also charge, for example, during these negative rates. So tonight there are negative rates, which means you're, uh, you're getting paid to charge your electric vehicle, which is always nice. All right, I'll go back to uh, a green session and I'll select that I want my car charged, for example, uh, well, almost full. And uh, I'll select uh, that it, I wanted to finish at nine o'clock or eight, uh, eight, eight a.m. And I'll select start charging. So uh, right now you can still see that the vehicle is charging, but it uh, stopped charging. Uh, this is because the charging will be suspended until two a.m. And at two a.m. it will start charging. And this is the same thing you see here at the graph in the bottom. At the bottom, um, and these are the the prices that are. Uh, um, are valid during those periods, during those hours. And so the nice thing is that um, I'm estimated to save uh, 3.8 kilograms of uh, CO2, uh, which is quite a lot. And uh, I save uh, two euros and 30 cents uh, compared to charging directly. Um, so I can also decide uh, I want to charge a little bit more directly. Uh, for example, if I have to uh, be somewhere um, uh, tonight, for example, I want to charge it uh, uh, to some degree. So I will charge, uh, uh, to, well, in the upcoming hour uh, until the battery is a little bit more full. Um, and you'll probably see the update here and the vehicle will uh, again uh, be charging. Yeah, here we go. So my range is uh, pretty limited. It's only uh, uh, 34 kilometers. So um, yeah, I might want a little bit more, a little bit extra charge, uh, uh, a little bit extra range. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, this is all without any extra hardware. So this is a regular charging point. Uh, it all uh, works with uh, simply with the Tesla. Um, if you have a different electric vehicle, it's also possible to charge like this, but you'll need a smart charger.